Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Dawson here again, here on this Monday morning. Today we are working on our last day of our packet before we move on to um, another packet for weeks um, five through six, okay? So today's focus is going to be on travel for today. But before we go ahead and look over those activities, let's go ahead and join in and singing our good morning song. Here we go. did that video so nice. Let's go ahead and look at our zoophonics letter sounds and the names of these letters as well. Let's see how um, quick and fast we can do that together today. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Alley alligator says ah, 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 a. Bubba bear says b, b, b. Katina cat says k, k, c. D, D, D. Ellie Elephant says, eh, eh, E. Francie Fish says, F. Gordo Gorilla says, G, G, G. Honey Horse says, H. Annie Inchworm says, I. E, E, I. Gary Jellyfish says, G, G. J. K.O. Kangaroo says K. 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 Lizzie Lizard says O. O. L. Missy Mouse says M. 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 Nigel Night Owl says M. M. N. Olive Octopus says Ah. Ah. O. Pee Wee Penguin says P. Queenie Quail says Qua, Qua, Q. Robbie Rabbit says R, R, R. Sammy Snake says S. Timothy Tiger says T. Umber Umbrella Bird says A, A, U. Vincent Vampire Bat says V. Willie Weasel says W, W. W. Xavier Fox says X. 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 Yancy Yak says Y. 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 Z. Zebra says Z. Z. You did it! You learned all the sound. Very good. So again, it's so important to practice those letters each and every day just so we stay familiar with the sounds they make and also the letter name too is so important for us to know going into kindergarten, okay? So looking at our schedule, we did our hello together. So now we're gonna to explain today's activities, go into a challenge for the day, 
read a story together, and then I'll send you on your way, okay? So as I was saying earlier, we are on our last day in our packet, in our weeks three and four packet. Um, so tomorrow we'll be starting our weeks five and six packet, um, okay? So today, for Friday, well, which is actually Monday, we're one day behind, um, we are focusing on travel. So here's a couple of activities that um, focus on traveling, and uh, maybe you can try some of these at home as well, okay? So for reading, one thing you can read together if you have a book at home or find one on Nooks or Books is to um, read a book where a character travels in the story and then to talk about what were some of the settings in the story and where do they travel to. So we're going to be reading the story together, but if you also have another story at home that centers around that theme, that would be a great one to read together. Um, for your literacy or your letters and sounds focus today, you can make um, roads on the floor with tape, then place those small letter cards on the tape and walk around the community and identify the letters. So if you have those tiny little num um, letter cards cut out already, the lowercase ones, you can put them on the road and see how quickly you can with maybe a car um, run into each letter and make the sound and the name of the letter, that letter too. For your math focus today, you can make a map on paper, kind of like the, um, the last activity. And then you can draw streets, stores, and houses, and maybe you can map out your community too, here in Yucaipa or Calamisa or wherever you live. Maybe um, there's something that stands out like a landmark to you, like our school is here, and um, the post office is down, down the road, um, maybe two streets, and it's right there. So maybe try to map out something that your kids know, that, are, that they're familiar with. For your fine motor today, one cool thing to do is to make license plates. I know a lot of kids are interested in um, finding all the letters they know around them, and that's one great way to do it. You can fold the paper into six um, different parts, and then you can um, cut out those letters, cut out those parts, and write a number on each um, on each section. You can also write some, some letters and some numbers too as well. For your art or sensory focus, if you have some of this at home, you can make a water travel sensory bin with boats, maybe. Okay, so there's one activity you can do together if you have some of those materials at home. And then for your STEM focus, you can build a giant mountain using cups or blocks. So one of the things we like to do in our classroom is use those um, red solo cups or, you know, the same, that same type of um, plastic cup to build with. It's actually a really great um, building tool that you can stack pretty high. You could do a really fun challenge of how high can you make it or how long can you make it or can you make a castle that only has 20 cups. So if you have those materials at home, great. If not, don't worry about it. Um, just try some of those other activities as well. Okay, so that leads us into our challenge, which is that STEM challenge if you have those materials. Um, try that out and see how it goes. Maybe if you don't have the cups, you can um, use different materials to create um, a tower, maybe blocks, or maybe you have those foam blocks at home. Try to figure out some type of um, material you can use to create that, okay? Again, each day you work on your lists. Okay, so if you see, I've done a couple of them. There's a topic on each um, section, and then you create your list around that um, topic. And then it's a kind of cool thing to keep because you know, oh, back in TK, these were the things that I liked. My favorite books, my favorite colors. It's kind of a neat little um, memory book, if you want to say, to keep um, during this time together too. Some of the things that you liked um, when we weren't in school, but that when you were at home staying safe, okay? Let's look at our book today. And we were talking about a book. Move my camera a little bit. There we go. We were talking about a book that has characters that travel. So in this story, we're going to see two characters um, that travel to see each other. And we're going to see where each of them live. The setting is going to be different for these two characters. Can you help me out with what part of the book is this? Front cover, back cover, spine, and the title. And we also call this one, this is our challenge, our title page, right? Because it's usually the same as the front, and it gives us just another introduction to that book. So the, the title is City Mouse and Country Mouse by Lisa Charlesworth, and the illustrations, the pictures, are by Ian Smith. Here we go. <clears throat> City Mouse and Country Mouse. City Mouse went to see Country Mouse. The mice played in the country. Can you figure out what the setting is? 
where are they at? Yeah, it kind of looks like a farm, right? So we would typically see a farm in um, a country area, right? Where there's lots of outside spaces and fields. The mice jumped in the country. The mice read in the country. So where are our two characters at? Yep, very good. The mice ate in the country. The mice ran in the country. Oh no. Bye bye, country mouse. Hmm. Now it's going to change. Watch how our setting is going to change. Country mouse went to see city mouse. So now we have a new um, setting. The mice played in the city. The mice jumped in the city. The mice read in the city. The mice ate in the city. Hey, wait, so they're doing the same things, but just in different settings, one in the city and one in the country. The mice ran in the city. Bye-bye, city mouse. And that is the end. Very good. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. I will see you back here um, tomorrow, Tuesday, to go over our next assignments, to sing some songs together, and just to kind of check in with everybody. Okay, so I hope you have a great Monday. I will see you back here on Tuesday.